everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is blair and today's video is going to be my version of the no makeup makeup look to me this look is all about less is more just enhancing your features that you already have and making you look even better if that sounds like something you're interested in please keep watching please subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it and let's get started we are going to go right into some foundation and we're going to use the Bare Minerals Original Foundation, the Original Powder. So just a little backstory on me with this foundation. I only wore this pretty much since I started wearing makeup in, I guess, beginning of high school. This is the only makeup that I ever wore because my mom always wore Bare Minerals. So when I started wearing it, I started wearing Bare Minerals as well. So this is what I wore forever. I never experimented with anything else. I just always wore this. And I experiment with a lot of different things now, but um, it's fun to go back and use what I always used when I was growing up. So we're gonna use a little bit of this today. And this is great because it's good for your skin. It's only got a few ingredients. It's not gonna clog your pores. It's a powder to cream formula. So basically when you blend it all over your skin, it kind of turns to a cream as you swirl it and tap it onto your skin. So we're gonna take a little bit of this in the cap like this. And the other key with this is to use small amounts and build it up. Don't try to apply everything like a ton all at once because it won't work. It's gonna look much better if you build this up and gradually blend it in. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use number seven, Golden Ivory. We're gonna use this Kabuki brush by Too Faced. This is my favorite brush to apply it. I've been using this forever. I bought several of these from Sephora. It's just a retractable, really big fluffy kabuki brush. So that's what we're gonna use today. So I just have my foundation in the cap and like Bare Mineral says, you swirl, tap, and then buff it on your face. Okay, so that's just one sheer layer. We're gonna add a little bit more. So it all depends on how much coverage you want or you need, but I'm gonna do a little bit more. And like I said earlier, the key with this foundation, in my opinion, is to apply it in small layers and just keep applying it until you get the desired coverage. I know it's tempting to put a ton of it in the cap and just get it on your brush and blend it all over your face as quickly as possible, but if you want it to look the best that it can, you need to do it in small layers and build it up. So that's all I'm going to put on. Obviously if you want more you can just keep adding small little layers, but that's good coverage for me. I'm not looking for super full coverage or anything. You can still see some of my skin peeking through, but it looks really nice and natural and super radiant. I do powder and concealer out of order. I know you typically see people put the liquid concealer first and then a powder foundation over it because you do typically put 
creams under your powder, not over it, but for as long as I've been using Bare Minerals, I have done this. I've used Age Rewind Concealer over Bare Minerals and I've never had any issue with it. I'm sure you can put it on the bottom, but I just never do that. I always put it on the top of my powder and I've been doing that for a long time. So I'm gonna take the Age Rewind in two colors. I'm gonna take it in Fair and Neutralizer. This one is more pink, this one is more yellow, so together the pink kind of helps cancel the blueness under my eyes and the yellow kind of corrects and um, cancels out some of the redness. So we're gonna use a little bit of both of these. to use some of the Bare Minerals Hydrating Mineral Veil to set my face just a little bit and also under my eyes just a little. So take a little bit of this in the cap. This is just an IT Cosmetics powder brush. And And then take a little bit more and this is a real technique setting brush we'll just set that concealer just a little bit So that's all we'll do for that. My favorite NARS Laguna bronzer. Bring a little bit of warmth back to your face. Honestly, you don't have to add blush if you don't want to. I'm just gonna add just a little. This is NARS Orgasm Blush. I'm just using the Real Techniques Blush Brush. And that is it. For eyebrows, when I'm doing no makeup makeup, the only thing I do is use Benefit Gimme Brow. This just kind of puts sets your eyebrows in place and adds a little bit of color as well, but it's a lot more natural looking than using like a pencil or a powder. So we'll use just a little bit of this.
Next, this part would be totally up to you. You can use something to even out your eyelids a little bit because mine are pretty discolored so I like to put a little something on them just to kind of even that out a little. So I either use Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. I just brush a little bit on my lids or I'll use this Bare Minerals Gin Nude Eye Primer. So it just depends if you'd rather use powder or cream. Or you can put some of this on and then put a little bit of the well rested powder over it. But today I think I'm going to just use a little bit of the powder and call it a day. So I'll just put a little bit in the cap here. And then I'm going to take that Real Techniques setting brush again. And then I'm just going to buff a little bit of this over my eyelid. This is technically a concealer, but you can use it for whatever you want. I know some people use this as their concealer and don't use any liquid concealer at all, or you can put it on your eyelid. You can set your concealer with this. So you can totally stop here, or you can do one extra little step and just add a little bit of whatever bronzer you used into your crease. See, it just adds a little bit of something. pretty that is. And then you can even take a little bit on smaller brush and just drag a little bit on your lash line. Next, going to curl my eyelashes with my Surratt eyelash curler. You again, you don't have to do this step. If you don't want to but when you do minimal makeup I think curling your eyelashes makes a really big difference and for mascara I'm going to use um, this Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This is just a little mini size. For lips, we're just going to take a little of this NARS Afterglow Lip Balm. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks so much for being here, and remember, simply be you. See you next time. Bye.